All right, so this is the Cell Robox, a UK made micro manufacturing platform. The one I have here is basically a 3D printer, so let's have a look at what it takes to get this thing going. By all means, this is a fancy printer. It's still a regular filament based 3D printer with a decently sized build volume, but it's already promising a super fine 20 micron maximum layer resolution and support for all the major filament types from PLA to nylon and even polycarbonate, one of the trickiest materials to print. We'll definitely try those out. Now, if we head over to the features side, you'll see what makes the Robux stand out from the crowd. I think it's fair to say that this thing is filled to the brim with sensors and smart add-ons. First off, the head uses their head lock system which integrates an automatic bed leveling system and allows you to swap the entire print head quickly. Integrated into that print head is the quick fill dual nozzle technology which basically lets the printer switch between a really small and a really large nozzle in the same print. The idea behind that being that the larger nozzle will be used for areas of the print where speed matters more than quality and the smaller one vice versa. Then there's the smart reel system which is supposed to automatically detect which Robox filament you install and adjust the print settings accordingly. Lastly on the hardware front it's got the smart extruder system as well which again adds more sensors to the filament path in an attempt to make it easier to use and more error proof. And on the software side, it comes with their proprietary automaker software, working hand in hand with all those hardware features. All right, so let's dig in. And actually, there isn't all that much to unbox here. There's a small accessories box on the side and the actual Robox in the center wrapped in a textile carrying bag. The Robox itself is only very lightly packaged and doesn't take that much preparation to get ready. After removing the transport fasteners, this particular unit was actually ready to go right away. It did come with a spool of Colorfab XT filament pre-installed, but usually you'd get that separately in the accessories box. Speaking of that box, you'll also find a safety information booklet inside, along with a USB drive with a few 3D models and the automaker software, as well as the power and USB cords, a pair of tweezers, a few alcohol wipes for the print bed, a small bottle of lubricant for the linear axes, as well as a set of cleanup tools, which interestingly enough are a four pack of mini chisels. From here on out, getting to the first print was smooth sailing. After installing the Automaker software, which is available for Windows, macOS and Linux, you could start loading up your own 3D files immediately and print them with the predefined printing profiles, or what I did was to use the My First Print option, which loads up the Robox mascot and prints that. Now, if this printer had not come with a smart reel already in place, installing that would have been something that needed to be done up until now. Installing filament is rather simple. With no filament in there, you simply grab the loose end of the filament spool and push it into the feed hole until the printer automatically grabs onto it. It will then feed the filament right up to the printhead and ask to purge it if there was a different filament loaded beforehand. The print process itself starts with the printer checking if the front door is closed, then it starts heating the bed and nozzle measures the bed surface for that auto tramming aka auto leveling magic cleans the nozzle and then starts the print. It is kind of unsettling to have the entire print space locked away with almost zero means of correcting anything that happens in there, but so far the process worked out very well each time and did prove quite reliable. So at this point you can actually disconnect your host computer from the printer since all the processed info for the print has been transferred to the Robux itself. But you can still reconnect the computer at any time and check on the print process, since the Robux itself doesn't offer any kind of information on what it's doing other than that ambient LED strip which just always seems to glow blue. This print took roughly 2 hours and it did it all by itself with practically no setup or calibration and only minimal user input. So there you go, that's the entire setup process for the Cell Robux in a nutshell. Be sure to check out the all 3D printing review of the Robux to find out how well all these super fancy features work out in day-to-day -day use or if you'd be better off sticking with a simpler printer.